thanks for coming by. Uh, when I reached out to Evansville Esports, I gotta say I was expecting a dude to show up. <laughs> <laughs> so I should have warned you ahead of time. No, that's fine. I, I that's on me. <laughs> hey, it is. Uh, my husband and I own the place. It was his yeah. idea to start with. Perfect. So. <laughs> so how long have you guys had Evansville Esports? Uh, our location that we're at now has been, it was two years, the beginning of September. Oh, wow. Uh, we did mobile tournaments before that for uh, at least a year, I think. Okay, so go just random pop-up places or yeah. people's uh, random houses uh, or <laughs> businesses that would let us use their space yeah. to just bring in equipment and set up and run a little tournament. That's cool. Yeah. So, I mean... For those who may not know, like, can you sum up what esports is at this point? Yeah, esports is competitive gaming. Um, for us at Evansville Esports, we focus on social and competitive gaming, kind of okay. more bringing people together. Yeah. Um, but it's using your skills in games um, to to fight to see who's the best, basically. <laughs> I mean, really, that's <laughs> it's competition. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah, it's competition with video games. Right, which you know those of us have played video games before that's what we always do anyways but you're just more organized yeah with it, more right? organized <laughs> brackets money involved with big stuff oh, yeah nice yeah so there's i was looking at the facebook page and um so the, there's things to do like like the, there's one on friday nights i guess there's like friday night fights where you have specific games that you guys target that bring people in pay, pay to get in and then they pay to per, Pay to play kind of thing. Yes, Friday night fights. Uh, that's fi- fighting games are our big thing around here. Sure, especially Smash Brothers, uh, Super Smash Brothers. Oh man, Me- yeah, Melee, the yeah. old one. Old and then, school, yeah. Uh, for the Wii U, for Smash Four is what we call it. Yeah, um, both of those are really big around here, and so we run brackets for those every single Friday. And then hmm. a lot of times we have other random games get that get thrown in on Fridays too. So yeah, yeah. And then I assume Call of Duty's in there somewhere on some something, right? It always seems to be the popular one. Or am I too old now? And just don't know. Sort of. Call of Duty has become very online focused. People playing gotcha. at home. Sure. So we kind of do get people to come in to play those, but we're still fighting games is the big one. Okay. Um, I think it's mainly because sitting right next to your opponent when you're playing a fighting game is very much different than fighting online. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of different aspects to... A little different yeah. kind of trash talking. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're still... You don't want to say certain things because you will get hit, whereas online right, people right. say whatever they want to say. So what kind of games do you like to play then? Um, I'm a little all over the place, yeah. I think. Um, they're not competitive, but I still like to go back to RPGs, the role-playing games. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Right now, um, there's two games, uh, PUBG, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, and then Fortnite Battle Royale. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are getting into those. Yeah. I play Fortnite, and my husband plays PUBG. We, everyone argues over which one is better. Uh, it's basically 100 people drop into this playable area, and you play to, until there's one person standing, one left. Wow. So, yeah. That's, <laughs> wow, okay. It's a player versus player, yeah. just giant Battle Royale Boy, kind of Battle Royale, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's a big one. That's one huh. one I've been playing a lot lately. <laughs> I've heard Fortnite I've seen pop up in the around the house, but I hadn't seen the other one. I hadn't heard of that one, so that's interesting. The other one is uh PC right now. It's coming out on oh, Xbox. That explains it. Yeah. Okay. Um but the PC one is what everyone's been playing right now. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of setup do you have over there? Do you have mainly Xbox or do you kind of have both or do you do you have the PC games then, or do you, I mean, what kind of... We have a little bit of everything. Yeah, okay. So we've got some PCs, some people bring in their own setups just because they've built their computer the way sure. they want it. Right, right. Um, and then all their peripherals, their headphones, their keyboards, all that, they want to use their own. Okay. Um, and we have PlayStations, we have Xboxes, we have all the stuff for the, the Smash games that we use in the, the, mm-hmm. um, the GameCubes for Melee. Yeah, and it's then, crazy yeah. that GameCubes are still... <laughs> still relevant. Still a thing, but yeah. <laughs> Smash Bros. will never die. Nope. I guess. I mean, we had, I remember when we got it for the Wii and kids play, I think they still play that game. They so, still do. Yeah. Right now, everyone's hoping it comes out on the Switch, on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, so. which they'd be fools not to, apparently, but. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even played the Switch, seen a Switch, all that stuff. I feel so out of touch anymore. 
<laughs> uh, they're they're pretty neat actually. Yeah. So um, switches are pretty cool. They yeah. did they did well with that one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. That yeah. people were pretty happy with that. So. Oh yeah. Nintendo did it right. They every once in a while they get they I know people badmouth them every once in a while for being whatever they are, you know, but Yeah, there's a few things they do yeah. not well, I feel like sometimes, but Hey, that's every company. That's every so, company, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so the uh is there anything coming up here at the end of the year? I know there's usually some releases. I know the Call of Duty one was recent and then there's uh I think Battlefront's coming out or is out at this point. Battlefront two, is that uh, I don't know. Is there anything uh, coming up that you're looking forward to that for the for the esports people or? There's a fighting game coming out, mm-hmm. but that's next year at the beginning of the year. Oh, okay. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so everyone's looking forward to that one. There's a few others people are looking forward to getting to. It's just kind of all over the place with who plays what. Right. Um, huh. Now, do you guys do other things like sport, like Madden game? Uh, competitions or anything like that? Or you just... Not really, no. Okay. We've not had yet. a few people come in occasionally asking about them, but there's yeah. just not enough following gotcha. here to okay. kind of go with it. Depending on where you are in the U.S. depends on what's big hmm. as far as what esports game That's is played. interesting, yeah. yeah. I would have thought it would just be across the board, everyone, but... You'd think so, yeah. but it turns out it's not quite that way. Huh. Which is, yeah. I wonder, what, that, I wonder yeah. what the reasoning is there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you, you figure that out, right? It'd be, right. <laughs> it'd probably help. Um, so if I... I like to look at this, somebody that maybe doesn't know anything about it or whatever. If like for my kids, I'm like, I want to throw a party. Is that something that you guys rent out the place or do you? Yeah, we do, do private like party or, stuff. Okay, cool. Um, as far as our like open to the public days. Yeah. Uh, younger ones are allowed so long as they have an adult with them. We just have, if they're 16 or younger, we'd rather have an adult stay with them because we're more uh, gotcha. because of the competitive sure, type. Yeah. 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 The it's, a friendly environment, but it's not exactly kid friendly all the time. So, right. So, uh, yeah, I think if you're around video games, you understand what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, so 16 and over then is the prime, the target, I guess. But welcome mm-hmm. younger adults. Yeah. Use we have your a, judgment. a lot of um, older teens, kids in college, mm-hmm. um, somewhere in their 20s, people coming in. Yeah. So. And you're right. It's. It's right across from UE, right? Or yeah. By the Slice. Yeah. So it's a pretty good location. For yeah, we're right in that same building that the Slice is. Yeah. All those uh, little places are. I mean, that's not bad. Being right next to the Slice. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's pizza inside there all the time. <laughs> all so we the allow time. them to bring in their food from there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. That's a cool little area. It's growing into, a, you know, got some cool stuff there. Honeymoon oh, yeah. and coffee and all that. So I love Honeymoon. <laughs> yeah. And right around the corner from me. So. Yeah, there you go. Um. So, are your big nights then the Fridays with the fight? Definitely, okay. Friday nights are big. The next one is actually Monday nights, because hmm. um, really? Mon- yeah, Monday night is dollar night for us, so uh, it costs one dollar to come in for okay. the whole night. Um, so that's why Monday nights are the second ah, biggest. I gotcha. Okay, so and then when they're in, do they still have to pay to play in each tournament, or is it just one dollar gets you in and they can do whatever? Uh, Mondays we don't run tournaments. It's just okay. more of kind of like friendly free play type things um just for fun uh we have a very community based um customer base so we know about 95 percent of everybody on more than just a i know your name type level yeah gotcha Um, right so it's a community that we have people coming in that's pretty much and then did i see something about like a where you're locking people in and like overnight kind of thing. Does that happen? Uh, yeah, sort of. Sort of. Um, it's not technically a lock in. That's what we used to call it. I changed them to sleepless Saturdays just cause gotcha. Perfect. you don't have to stay there the whole time. I'm not locking you in. The right. Whole right. Time. <laughs> Sorry. You can't go. Yeah. Um, but we run those, uh, about every three to four weeks, at least once a month. Sometimes there's two hmm. a month. So, um, but it's 5 PM to 5 AM. We order pizza for everybody and give everybody drinks, and we play yeah. pretty much anything and everything all night long. <laughs> Mario Party actually comes up a lot. That's really yeah. <laughs> all the fun old stuff comes out. Hmm. But, yeah. So, what's the oldest? Is it the GameCube? Is that the oldest system you have there? Or? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Um, actually, no. We have an original Nintendo, and we also have a Super Nintendo. Nice. And uh, 
Sega Genesis, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. We've got a bunch of older consoles with other games, too. Yeah. Sometimes people just want to relive the old stuff. You know, every once in a while, I want to throw in Mike Tyson punch out. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 It happens. We had a regular that uh, he he would play that a lot because he had goals to try to get within certain uh, aspects of beating the game. I can't remember exactly what he did. Sure. But he used to say he wanted to be able to play it until he was good enough to beat it blindfolded. So oh my gosh. <laughs> never got quite to that point, but oh yeah, it'd be cool like, to see him do it. Yeah, the blindfold or the people that do was it Super Mario where they race through it and yeah can beat it in like you know thirty seconds or whatever, or whatever the number is. It's like how's that? <laughs> the, yeah, the uh, that speed racing stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Speed um, running. I'm sorry, not racing. Uh, yeah. See, when I pl- played when I when we grew up. I was more sports and racing games and mm-hmm. a couple of fighters here and there. I never really got into the RPGs or the the multiplayer stuff until later. But uh, yeah, the graphics are just so awesome now and some of that oh, stuff. Were, amazing. Like, <laughs> like when we were playing a couple of years ago, it was Red Dead Redemption. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, it, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, this is amazing. And right. I don't even like this kind of game. Right. So, and now you go back and look at it and it's just like, gosh. It's... Yeah, and you're like, what kind of garbage is this? <laughs> Is this so? Yeah, my my kids have the Xbox One, and that's I watch every once in a while, and it's like, man, the graphics are just yeah, the new ones crazy. coming out look amazing. They're so good. Yeah, so that's that's interesting. Okay, well, yeah, I was always wondering about the the esports thing. I didn't realize you guys were had done it for two years now. That's that's pretty, or just being in that spot for yeah, two years, that spot. even longer, having done it. That's that's pretty amazing. So because it's catching on, see it on. Like ESPN has shows all the time. And mm-hmm. They're starting to show some stuff. So who knows where where does it go? You guys are cutting edge. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we want to. We're hoping to kind of boost up this area to get people yeah. more into the pro level t- towards that area at least. Yeah, is there like so nationally they have things? I'm sorry, do you guys have kind of a way into those national competitions or? Uh, there you can enter them and go compete we yeah. sent there's a really big one in las vegas it's called evo okay and uh a couple of years ago we sent a few players for melee oh, wow. uh out to that to play and they didn't get super far but yeah um they got to go and they got to see the pro players and that's pretty cool yeah yeah that's yeah like my son he's rocket league all the way and he's like i want to i want to do that and I'm the like, game's pretty cool yeah I don't get it, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, he loves it. So, mm-hmm. so that's one of those generation gaps that I always <laughs> like. Hmm. But yep. All right. The all stars coming up are video gamers. <laughs> it is the weird. Pros, yeah. 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 But, I mean, they practice just as much. The pros in a lot of the games will play eight hours a day. They have right. certain contract obligations they have to do with streaming on Twitch and all this other stuff. Yeah. So, do you guys do any kind of Twitch? Uh, yeah, we stuff. usually stream our um, our tournaments, okay. uh, and occasionally Fridays, and then we've had other like just for fun stuff thrown in there too. Okay, yeah. So. If you can give me a the link later, or message me the link, I'll put yeah, that I on can the send it to you. on the show notes. That way, people can find it and check it out sometime. Yeah, maybe definitely that'll be cool. Well, cool. Yeah, I'm glad we talked. Somebody had emailed me and said you need to talk to the Evansville Esports people. And I'm like, <laughs> cool. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> so. I think we make it happen. Awesome. But uh, but thanks for coming over and talk to me about that. And uh, hopefully maybe I'll send my kid over there. And yeah, thanks for having me. You having guys can uh, make him lose a lot and <laughs> put him in his place. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. <laughs> thanks. Yep. Good job, everybody. 